Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today I'm going to be teaching you how to get the Mac cursor for uh, Windows computers. And I believe this works on all computers that are Windows. Um, but uh, I don't know, I like this to the, or I like this tutorial because uh, I really like the Mac mouse cursor. And I don't know if people don't know how to do it, so I'm just going to show you how. I mean, you don't have to watch it, but yeah, I think it's cool having it. I just like the way it looks. So yeah, and if you missed the last tutorial, it's how to change the orb of the start button uh, to pictures, several different pictures. Uh, I have a bunch of them, just literally an annotation like down here or something. Alright, so pretty much you do, just go in the description of this video, and there should be a Mac cursor file. It's a media fire link to my .zip file. Um, you just download it, and uh, you'll get a file like this. You just right-click and extract it, and you should get a folder or not. In it, but it should have a file, this file in it. So it's really easy. You should just run as administrator, and it will it'll install on your computer. Yes, and then just run through the setup. Next, it'll install it, and then you're gonna have to click finish when it's done, and it'll bring up your mouse properties, and you just go ahead and it'll already have Mac OS X clicked, and you just click OK. And I really like this thing though because it's when it's loading up. See how it's doing that thing with the mouse where it does that little spinning thing? It's kind of like the Mac, and I don't know. I just I think it's pretty sick. I like having a computer look like the Mac. Like, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to get like these like buttons right here. I don't know. I think it looks pretty sick than having that just regular square buttons and stuff. But, alright, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and hit the like button if this video helped you at all. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you later. But she's not